All right, AJ, thank you so much for having skewed and reviewed here at Bandai Namco. Thank you, visiting. Thank you so much. Could you just start by telling us a little bit about uh, what's going on this year with the company? Of course. And what we can expect to see here at San Diego Comic-Con? Of course, yeah. So right now at San Diego Comic-Con, we always bring yes. the best of the best when it comes to collectible figures. Uh, in fact, we've got so many things happening right now. So right now, you're in the Fun Lounge right behind Tamashi Nations, which is known always every year for the exclusive items. So as far as exclusives go, Tamashi's bringing you five of them. We've got ourselves three Dragon Ball, one Naruto, and one Godzilla. Now, you know, all the Dragon Ball fans love their Dragon Ball figures. And in fact, I love them just because like, look at the pearly pants, the pearly this and here. And the Goku is probably the number one a seller. Just like, he comes with so much for him, for himself. He comes with his power pole, his Nimbus cloud, comes with his son Gohan, and he comes with like, cool new little whooshy hair. So, you know, for the, for the 100, it's perfectly fine with me because I am an accessory person and I love having I love that. all that. Uh, Kakashi even comes in a different colorway. Uh, usually, oh, nice. the, the original release had the darker green with the blue. This one's like lighter green with the black. Uh, in fact, it's designed after the Naruto Top 99, mm -hmm. which was you know has a really cool illustration. So on the back of the box, you can see that as well. Uh, and you know the fact that they chose even a Naruto character, I love it because I love Naruto. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then Godzilla. Everyone loves themselves with Godzilla, especially with everything they've done this year. Oh my gosh, like. This one comes with a really cool glacier spine. Love that. It's pretty much like when your ice is about to melt on your icy. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and all that. And he's all fully articulated. Tail, hands, mouth, and all that. So for all the monster kaiju collectors, it's a really good one. And in fact, these two, Naruto and Godzilla, don't even need a ticket. You can just walk up and it's like, hey, I oh, want really? this. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, the Dragon Ones do need a ticket, and so you do have to go all the way out to the Dragon Ball activation. It's right behind the mar marina. Okay, so if we want some Goku, yes. we need to go to the marina. Where again? Uh, right behind the marina terrace. There's a giant inflatable Goku. You can't miss him okay. behind, the, okay. behind the hotel. Um, in fact, there's a lot of fun things to do there as well. Okay. Uh, you can demo uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Uh, then you can also play the TCG. Uh, there's photo ops. You can get a look of the new Dragon Ball Daima figures. Uh, and then there's some little displays of the Dragon Ball Daima characters as well. Uh, it's pretty much, if you are a fan of Dragon Ball, always want to visit. There's even free goodies like a backpack, uh, uh, ribbons, lanyards, and then if you collect everything, you get a cool little acrylic stand. So, you know, they nice. sp spending your time there is well worth it. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. awesome. Um, and that's just from the Tomashi. Like, Oh my gosh, we have like Ultraman boots over here. Yes. There's meet and greets with Ultraman. Yes. There's roughly three to meet plus Emmy from Ultraman Rising. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in Tamagotchi, we've got one meet and greet as well with a mascot. It's actually amazing to see. From this view, we get a really cool look of the ship, the UFO ship. Yes. And then we get a little statue and everything. So this view is amazing because it's a good, nice look at how everything is happening. Yes, it's amazing. Can you talk to us about the staying power of these properties? They are so successful. Yeah. I mean, Dragon Ball has been around, I mean, how long are we talking? 30 years, maybe? Yeah, it's older than me, I can, I'm okay. pretty sure. Tamagotchi as well. Yup, yup. Naruto. Yep. I mean, Godzilla, of course. <laughs> this is, that is 1989, so this one, when this one came out, I was just yes. a year old, so. Oh, well, I won't tell you how old it's I was. Okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm okay definitely older them. than you. <laughs> But can you talk to us? I mean, this is obviously a testament to the success of yes. these lines. What is it about these lines that continual, continually to bring people to them? Generation, generation. I think honestly part of it is just the characters themselves. You know, I think everyone has a character that they relate to a lot, uh, especially in especially in Dragon Ball. I think Dragon Ball is definitely the peak of where people go, hey, I want to be just like Goku. I want to train this hard. I want to reach my peak <laughs> capabilities. But then there's some people like, I just want to be like Jiren. That guy is a powerhouse. You know, that guy destroyed him. He he handed them the hands, and the, you know, and like it was, even with like Godzilla, like, oh my, God, I love monsters. You know, as a fan of Jurassic Park and dinosaurs, you know, Godzilla is definitely in that same realm for me. Yes. So anything kaiju related, I'm like, oh man, 
I gotta have it, right? Yeah. So I think that's part is just in general the way we were kind of raised, just with everything that we grew up around, you know, like all the movies. It just kind of helps you, you know, stay with how these characters are, and especially with stories that have, like shows that have really great stories. You know, I think uh, Naruto for me personally has an amazing story with Chikuden, and I love the character arcs for a lot of them. Uh, so even characters like Kakashi, I, I'm more than likely go, yep, gotta have them. <laughs> awesome. And these figures, I mean, they look first class. Yes. Like, I mean, incredible and so opposable. It's amazing. Yeah, in fact, a lot of like, the one thing that Tomashi prides itself, at least with all their SH figures, is that, you know, the articulation is pretty much on key. You know, toe points, le leg, yeah, thigh, that. arm. You know, it, and it's funny because over the years, it's just only advanced more and more. Like, we started getting these butterfly arms where they can finally go forward a little yeah. bit more. Before, they were, were kind of limited on where we could really okay, go. Yeah. But now, over the course of the years, we've seen a, a growth in them. And honestly, I'm here for it. I love that every time we're getting new, new articulation, something new into the technology. So even if they remake a character, if, it, if the articulation allows me to do something new, I am for it, and <laughs> and I probably will get like a duplicate and go, man, I got like four of these ready, but each one's a fun iteration, and I think you know it shows how long I've, you know, for me at least, how long right. I've collected. That's great. Now for those of, those who can't make it to Comic Con this year, um, what can they find online? Yeah, so a lot of Tomashi's stuff, and even like some of our other stuff, we do you know, sell them to vendors. There's places mm -hmm. that we, like Barnes & Noble for things like Tamagotchi, oh, and nice. some of our uh, other brands that we don't we don't, that we don't see this year, like yes. Nanoblock, uh, Studio Ghibli, uh, and then with Tamashi as well, like, you know, we've got all sorts of vendors out there. You know, yeah. check your favorite collectible retailer shop. Okay. Uh, you, right. Maybe they have right. something right. better related and they can actually ask okay. for that. Okay. You can always reach out. Um, if you're there in the New York area, you know, there's the Tamashi Nation store, oh, okay, the first great. dedicated Tamashi Nation store That's in the awesome. U.S. Uh, and then also, like, for things like this, you know, the exclusives, uh, you know, I would say every year, everyone always has, there's a lot of people who go, I missed out. Uh, if they follow us on Bandai Collect or even at Instamashi, um, we always update with all kinds of news. And I would say for everyone, you know, always pay attention to that stuff because, you know, there's, there's always some spicy news out there that people may not be able to attend. Okay, to okay. Know. Well, I'm definitely excited to get my hands on a Naruto. Yes. So I will be looking for that myself at the booth, and I'm happy to hear that uh, anybody here can go down and uh, and does not need to go get a ticket. But it sounds like getting tickets are really easy. <laughs> if you're a morning person, yes. I woke up this morning, and I looked out the window, and I'm like, that's a big line already. Okay, okay. So but I, I think that's part of the Comic-Con experience, you know? Right. The dedication to come out here uh, to really want these figures. I shouldn't say easy, but I should say <laughs> people actually have a chance. Yes. This isn't an exclusive portal lottery yes. that they missed out on before they even got here. That's true, and I know that Which there are a lot great. of people who did Which miss out great. on things like that. People yeah. want to try to, they want that experience of getting exclusive, but not everybody can get on those yes. elusive portals. I know firsthand about the portal loss and then how I missed my chances on a couple <laughs> I think of we all so, do here. Yeah, I love that we can give them a chance. And also, we've been doing for the last couple days, uh, you know, with the, within the window time, there's a specific time, I think it was around like five, mm -hmm. where people who didn't get a yes. ticket, uh, we were able to let people uh, purchase the exclude like these three exclusives without the tickets. So. Right. Yeah, Scott's telling me. So yeah, for even people who weren't able to get a ticket, we had a small we have a small window every day uh, that allows people to come by and grab it. And honestly, that's even better because we've gotten a lot of people ask us like, oh hey, you know, we couldn't make it out there, and we, this is our only day. Is there any chance? And as much as I love helping everyone and I want to like, take it, take it, take it, you know, I'll I'll just do it. I know that nice. we have to follow the policies and so... Of course, yes. of course. Yeah. And so at least we've given them a chance again, a nice. second chance within everything. I love it. Well, uh, thank you AJ so much for spending the time with me. Could we look around the booth a little bit? Of course, we can definitely tour the, all the booths around. Okay, great. Yeah. I would love that. Right. Thank you. So, uh, both sharing the spot area. But let's go look at Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi has some really cute, simple things going on. Uh, Tamagotchi has a really cute statue, little display, uh, video, uh, what's it called? 
Interesting. It's, okay. It's a kind of in the it's shape a, of the yeah, it's in okay. the shape of it, and I think a lot of people uh, really love that. And you know, you're like, oh my god, is that Tamagotchi? Well, not really. <laughs> okay. Um, that's actually one of our popular items. And then we've got little plushes for sale as well. Okay. Uh, so it's like the first time we're really bringing like this lifestyle. I think I see Star Wars Slide Demon Slayer. Let's go, Tyson. Let's, let's go. Okay. I gotta ask you, of these four designs, which one is your favorite? Ah! The shells are always really important when it comes to like owning a top. Yes, yes. I absolutely love this I, this ice cream one here, the boat is like some cherry. Yes. That's my favorite one as well. Oh! Yes, I'm loving it because it has little bubbles. It has little I'm bubbles. I'm maraschino cherries. That, exactly. I love it. Okay, oh, Hello Kitty as well. So I'm gonna have you come through and we'll show off the game. Okay, great. No, it's okay, go, 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 go. Oh, okay. Raising the character in You're this one. A okay. Okay. And so the nanos are a little bit different. So the okay. nanos are a little bit smaller. Uh huh. Um, while the regular Tamas are a lot bigger. Yes. Uh, but nonetheless, they look cute. In fact, we They're had, adorable. Like, we had a Grogu exclusive and back in like uh, Star Wars Celebration, maybe not three okay, years ago. Okay. Okay. That sold so fast. And so did you get You get a right. You get a plain character. And you uh, have to raise them into one of the several. Uh, so, depending on how you raise them, okay. you may get yourself a super and I can get mm. and stuff. Oh, go right ahead. No, no, it's fine. Oh, we're, just we're just taking a look around. We're just waiting on this. Okay. Then, so, this is the connection. Connection, so okay. This is the one with the, you know, we connect with your friends. We've got several different versions. Okay. The newest one, and I do love all the shells. I think that's the most important. Yes, part. yes. The shells, totally. It's your, it's your vibe. You know, it's right. It's your character. This is what you feel. Like. If you really want just the plain blue, that's cool. If you want the rainbow? That's amazing. You want? That's actually pretty cool. It's a trapper keeper looking one. This right? one is like, yeah. It reminds me. And it's of got that sort of clear yeah. case. Love that. Yeah, with the trapper keeper vibe. Yeah. yeah. And then into our lifestyle stuff. So this is. One of the, I love this packaging the most because it's not oh, okay. like a manga. Yes. Yeah, and so like while you get this one, you get one, you get this little package. In I love, love it. Disposable camera. Yes, that one's actually really fun. I wanted to pick one up and then just do my shots around the show. Nice. Uh, and I, I believe I still have to actually develop it like a regular disposable camera. Really? So I have to go to a CBS and wow. like. Wow. They were like, what is all this guy's They're blurry like, hey. shots? <laughs> These plush are on sale as well. You have Imichi, okay. Yamamichi, and yes. Kichipachi. Uh, so 
again, this is like one of my first few times we're really bringing these characters out here, especially with the shirts, the trucker hats, the Love vinyl it. bag. I think the vinyl bag are probably my favorite just because you know, concerts and stuff right now. Yes, yes. But gotta have clear. Vinyl clear. There you go. Yes. Yeah, we have hair clips too, so. I've been convincing a lot of people for the hair clips. They're like, you must know someone who likes hair clips. Yes. <laughs> and like, you must know someone that likes Tamagotchi and hair clips. <laughs> like, I do. An up close look at yes. the chicken. Slip and shoot. Well, AJ, this is all very incredible. Yes. Thank you again so much. No problem. Really appreciate it. It was fantastic to talk to you and even tour you around. I mean, San Diego is the place to be. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Appreciate it. Thank I you so much. You. Yeah. Uh, Okay. I know. Yeah, we got like some. We revealed them online, so we want to uh, show them because it's like the first time physically being shown. Okay. First up, or like the Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse toys. So we've shown Spider-Punk a couple times, but. We recently revealed Spider-Man India, and this is like his first time being shown physically, at least in the U.S. Um, so seeing it in person, so excited for this figure. Amazing. I think in the movie, he was like one of my favorites as well, along with Spider-Punk. I like Spider-Rex, so I'm really hoping for the Rex one. Uh. Uh, then next is, while we've had a Gwen and Miles before, this one is a new version where it's like the rooftop version, where that scene where you know they were just yes. hanging upside down, and then you can tell that buildings are upside down, so really, we they're hanging it. upside yeah. down. In fact, Gwen's hair is also pointing. Yes! So it's a really fun little I detail. love that. When did they add him? You're looking what? now. Wolverine. So this looks like it is a prototype of Wolverine, and we recently announced him literally on Wednesday. Wow. So there is a physical form of both Deadpool and Wolverine. We had, we had Deadpool up earlier, but now they have Wolverine, so. At the world's first exhibition. I think this is pretty popular. Yeah. This, be, <laughs> this, is, yes. this is just incredible. Yeah, I mean, me physically seeing it for the first time. Your, this, uh, my reaction is the first time I'm seeing this. Wow. And it's with you. Oh. So, wow, that's amazing. Look at that oh. detail. There's grinning teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And, and of course, Deadpool, Deadpool the sassy pose the sassy as pose. ever. It's not the leg, really. You it's know? Like, the leg. Yeah, I love it. It works. It. It works huge. And outside of that, we do have some cool new things to show as well. Is we have every our Tomash Nation stories are really exclusive with some items, and then we have a new exclusive uh, coming up. It is this Goku where he's got kind of that translucent color on, mm -hmm. and it's really from like the original opening when, you, when yes. you, before the horror shows up. Yes, and I love it. So we've got that. We've already had Instant Challenger, but he's always one of our popular ones because. I want to go through the club. Exactly. Right? It's a really great entry point as well. Visually to stunning too. Yeah. What's next? The next is not the showing of the exclusives, but you can see the cloud this time around. Of course. So you get a full look at this cloud and it's so nice. Yes. I love it. In fact, the little tail has two forms. It's a straight shot or there's one with a little whooshy. Oh! And the whooshy nice. is my favorite just because it looks cool. It's a little curved tail. Incredible. We do have some cool uh, items from, that were added, also shown earlier this week. Okay. Uh, some from Berserk and Kaiju number eight. So let's take a look. SH Figure Arts. A figure brand that thinks out of the box. So in Berserk, we recently announced Isidro, like, that's amazing that we showed him, and now he's here in person. Uh, while it will take a little bit for him to get it out there, uh, it's nice that okay. we can show some At least you can show them, yes. exhibit them for everyone. Yes. And same with Kaiju number eight we've got over there on the bottom left. He's also just been recently announced. Again, it's nice to see these characters kind of physically have here. Again, the details are stunning. Yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into the details in terms of just, you know, all the little suits, the little suits yes. the, like where the articulation really needs to be, and even like the facial detail. Yes. I mean, that, that's also The quality is incredible. Those are some of our newest ones over at Tomashi. Excellent. Yeah, let's take a go. Let's, yeah, let's, let's take the Gundam. Gundam Booth is going to be just a couple of going away. We'll take a fun little Batman out. Sure. Oh, I guess we're making our way that way. 
So for our hobby, we now have you've like, got multiple booths this year. We do. We got so many. In fact, we practically we're, are we going across the street so here? We are, <laughs> we're taking this little short cut through. I know that the other side it's a little traffic so and it's my way of going. All right. At least you know the best way to go. Yeah, you know, All right. Look fact, here's Ultraman. Ultraman. So we do have this Ultraman booth. It's actually really fantastic. Um, we have a way to learn to play the new card game that's coming out for them. So you can learn it. There's really cool displays. So we also have meet and greets in this location as well. In fact, you get a cute little fan, and I will, I will ask them to, see you, to show Oh, yeah, of course. the Ultraman booth, you get uh -oh. Emmy and Ultraman. Nice. Right? Everyone's a big fan of Emmy. Emmy is so cute. And Ultraman's amazing. In fact, Christopher Sean, if he's ever watching this, we're good friends with him and I just want to say you're an amazing person. So come by the Ultraman Indeed. booth. These cute little fans. You just have to follow their YouTube Yeah. That's it, you follow their YouTube. Okay. Show it to them. You get these cute fans. Easy. Easy. Thank you. No problem. So yes, this Ultraman booth is amazing. I, I love it. I love that. They're such a big fan for like, Ultraman. Like, yes. It's growing. In fact, it's growing. Yeah. <laughs> Ultraman <laughs> does that. I caught myself on it. I mean, there's so much to talk about. Comics and people with like teaming up with like Marvel, I believe. Yes. Yeah. That's This one is our non Gundam items. So these are the cute ones where we okay. got Pokemon, uh, some One Piece. Okay. So this is where you'll find some anime and stuff. So right now, we've got a lot of people coming. I want to show you the displays that we offer. Okay. Uh, usually, they're items that we do have inside. Okay. Without having to you know, get in people's way. I know people want to purchase them. Yes. So, my favorite, I do like this line. It's called Planosaurus. Okay. They are this little dinosaur line where you could build them, and it's almost like if you were at a museum, you could build them with their fossil, like their skeleton, or with their skin on. And you get this really cool, once you collect a ton of them, you can start doing some really cool dioramas like this. Incredible. Yes. Incredible. And I think the T-Rex also has a way to have like a, this little moha kind of thing. Oh, a really? Because I think they recently discovered like T-Rexes had hair on his on the back of the horse. Oh. So they have like an option for that. Too. And what you can like, you can see like an interior, like fossils. Yeah. Like their bones inside. That's yeah. awesome. My favorite is the Mosasaurus with how they built this right yes. now. It looks so amazing. Incredible. Yeah, look at all dinosaurs. Look at all the dinosaur fans. Hey, look, it's A plus. I love awesome. them. Dinosaurs. Planosaurus. You, uh, you can actually get them at like uh, hobby stores and okay. hobby Okay. Um, next. We got 30 minute missions. This is by far probably the most one of the most customizable lines that we do offer in okay. the hobby. Um, so similar to like how Gundam are, you know, they are mechs and everything like that. But yes. the best part about 30 minute missions is they are they do take about 30 minutes to really build. Um, okay. I have timed oh, it myself. Really? That's quick. Uh, yes. So even some of the ones that look a little bit more intimidating. Maybe a little bit over, and again, hobby is really to your speed. Okay. So even if it doesn't take 30 minutes, that's fine. You know, take it at your own pace. This is a leisure okay. that you want to do. This is for your enjoyment. Yes, and the best part of it is that, you know, you can customize, these are fully customizable. There are little ports and everything. So if you're uh, like, I want to add this blast or this gun, this arm to this character, by all means, they come in different colors The customization well. is there. The customization okay. is there yeah, everywhere. And the newest one coming up. Is 30 minutes fantasy so for all those people who really like you know all that like D, D kind of style yes we have all that uh, we oh nice that. so we have things like knights warriors paladins uh, and there's even some more that we've recently announced where they're like uh, barbarians and, everything and these are customizable as well yeah they're all part of the 30 minute line so okay. everything in 30 minute line customizable you can put okay. some of these onto that that and onto this Less, more on this last Okay. Yeah. Of oh yeah, we should do like a one of your buggy videos. Yeah. What's I just finally put this. 30 minute sisters. So oh. people that want a little bit of flair on the 30 nice. minute sisters. Again, all customizable. They all have 
you can change the hair, head, body parts that you need. But what it's all for you and how you want to customize. You want shark hands, you can have shark hands. Ah. You want like this rabbit mochi moon looking design, that's all for you. Uh, you want blonde hair, gray hair, white hair, blue. Love it. All customized. Love there. it. And we have all the same characters as well. Love it. Personally, it is one of my favorite lines, just the whole 30 minute, just because customization really goes far. Right. Be, and being able to kind of do what you want is, you know, what be is the best for it. I, I think they say, like, in the uh, complex freedom. So, <laughs> same for all those. Awesome. And let's take a look uh, from the Gundam Requiem games. Right? Okay. Uh, you know, like, the building is all totally decked out and everything like that, so. Personally, I think it's a really good cool design. As you can see, there's a lot of people waiting. Everyone Incredible, loves, yeah. Got like this whole like prison camp. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because this is the first time we've ever really looked. You know, not bar bar. We got wires, fences, uh, but everyone in there has this amazing opportunity to purchase. It's a prison that everybody wants to get into. Yeah, they want to get by the Yes. This is a new statue you got on display for the first time. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> this is for a Requiem for Vengeance. So, this is one of the units that are that's going to be featured. It's one of the main ones. It's kind of terrifying. The red eyes, really. Yes. Like, I feel like to me, it's almost like when the Terminator, like, when he peels off, it has that feeling to me. Yes. And then, on the other side's another statue. We actually, I think, revealed it yesterday. In between, they do have the kits for them, so like, mm. the kits aren't out just yet. But okay. you get a good first look at them before you know you purchase them. It's almost one of those things that let me in. Uh, right, exactly. This one right here it is amazing. Incredible. Looking. I think this one is probably my favorite just because it's got like these really different yes. designs that I'm used to for a zombie. Uh, it's by far the most interesting. So we have those and yeah, everything behind is is all everyone shopping for the exclusives. I love uh, it. We restock every day and everything like that. And we okay. go by so fast. Okay. Like, in fact, earlier today I had one of like the last of this kit. Like, is that the last one? I'm like, what? They're like, yes. I'm like, oh, you? I was putting it away. Oh my I just gosh. I it for a video. I love it. Yeah. And then, if we actually head back, uh, we'll just showcase off the uh, Tamagotchi. Perfect. And 